Hi YouTube people out there, it's David here from DP Computing. Today we're just going to do a quick teardown of a ASUS X52S laptop. Now before we start, if you see anything different here um, than what you see at your end, please consult a professional and you're proceeding at your own risk. Now also please take anti-static precautions. Now the first thing we have to do is remove the power, so the power adapter is just plugged in here at the top. So anything there just unplug it and then also remove the battery which is here to remove the battery there's two little tabs just push them outwards the one on this side will click to the outside but this one you'll have to hold in and then just push it backwards and the battery will slide out so there's the battery itself just see if we can get a focus on there No, oh, there it goes. It's as you can see there. It's a lithium ion battery pack, and it's 832-F3. I'll just put that to one side. Now, the the hard drive itself is stored in a little bay at the top here. So there's two screws. Just remove those screws. And they may, the screw itself may or may not come out. Doesn't look like it's wanting to come out. Oh, it's better. Uh, my bit head wasn't actually going down enough, far enough. So there's a hard drive in here. There's a little, as you'll see, a little plastic tab which you can pull, use to pull the hard drive from its connectors. And there's a the hard drive itself. This one's just a, an, an Hitachi. Um, and that's held into a little mounting bracket by four screws. So just remove those four screws and the hard drive itself will pop out. And then you can replace it with another hard drive or an SSD or whatever you like there. So I'll just put that to one side. Now we've got another panel here to get into where the memory and other things are. Now if my memory is correct, there's seven screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'll start to remove those. Now just a word of warning, these screws are slightly shorter than the screws we used to hold in the hard drive access panel. Okay, so the longer ones are for the hard drive access panel and the shorter ones are for this panel here. So please just bear with me while I undo all these screws. Um, while we're at it, if you have any questions, please leave them in the fields below and I'll try my best to answer them. Now, once they're all removed, uh, you can lift off the back panel. Please note there's some tabs on this side here, so don't break them off. So just lift it off and then slide it out. Now here we can see we've got the memory, uh, the CPU, fan, video card, Wi-Fi module, and that looks to be a TV capture card or some sort. So um, with the memory, it's held, there's two DIMMs in this one, and it's held in by two each one is held in by two little silver clips at the side. So just pull them outwards and the memory you'll see will pop up and then you can slide it out. To put it back in, just make sure the little tab there is lined up and then slide it in and then push it down until the, ta the silver tabs click into place. Um, the Wi-Fi, the TV tuner card is held in by two screws there and there. So just remove those two screws and pull it out. The same with the Wi-Fi modules held in by two screws you can pull out. Just be careful with the antennas though on each of those modules. Um, the fan here as you can see um, it may be a bit dusty so you can clean that out um, with some compressed air and the same with the um, little heatsink here. If it gets too dusty you can clean that out. Now the optical drive is over here and that's held in by two more screws. So there's a screw there and a screw here.
and again they're the short stubby screws so don't confuse them with the hard drive screws and there's the optical drive this one's just a HL data storage super multi DVD rewriter the model I'll just put it up a bit more see if we can get focused the model is a GSA 20L and that's got a little mounting bracket there so which you can remove and put onto a new one um, so there we are um, there's a very brief teardown of a Asus X52S laptop have any questions please leave them below and please subscribe to our YouTube channel um, thank you for watching and we'll catch you next time bye for now